What's up guys, Luna Wolf and Max S here. It's true, I'm finally doing it. I'm donating my YouTube money to charity. I figured out how to get my YouTube money. I have not got it yet. They're like reviewing my information I sent them. Uh, but I'm gonna take $100 of my personal money and put it, like donate it to the charity and then I'll refund myself through the, uh, you know, the Google payment or whatever it is. But I'm gonna be actually donating, what's this? $2,000 in gold euros. Look at that. I'm just kidding. These plan cards, they're basically useless. They're basically uh, not real. I'm actually going to donate all this cash I got. Look, I got some uh, I got some uh, real. I'm going to donate all this cash. What's that? What's that? Is that yen? I got some yen up in here. I got some yuan. No, wait. That was yuan. My bad. That's Korean money. Got a $2 bill. I'm going to donate. Here we go. Here's some more real. What's this? A euro. 10 euro. I got $100 from Costa Rica. Let's donate that. Let's donate all this. Uh, I got a friend like who lit. This is money I save from around the world. Uh, I got a friend who legitimately, he's an older southern gentleman. Um, he did not complete school. He dropped out so he could work, which was a lot of people his age. They, uh, they, they did that. They dropped out of school because they couldn't afford it, you know, and they had to go to work to provide for their family. So I'm not saying he's not educated. He's very street smart. He's a very smart guy. But when it comes to, like, world culture, he's not very educated in that. He legitimately thinks this is monopoly money. I tried to give him some of it. Look, what's that, 20? Is that 20 pounds? That's 20 pounds, and I got a bunch of it. I'm not bragging right now, but look, here's some Hong Kong money that Alex Newton sent me. Uh, you can check his YouTube channel out on my page. I got him link there. Uh, he lived in Hong Kong for a year. But it's just funny. I tried to give him some of my money I got from around the world, and he legit would not take it. He's like, that's fake money. I'm like, no, seriously, they got different money other places. He's like, no, that's this is fake money. And he would not take it. I'm like, dude, I brought this from around the world for you. He's like, that's fake money. I'm not taking that. Like, legit, like, that's legit story. But uh, some of this stuff, like, since I travel back to these places, I will take it with me just to have a little walking around money. So that's why I keep it. I can't spend it here. So it's, it's right now, I, like, I might as well use it for, like, firewood or something or, like, kindling for a fire. I don't know. But that's besides the point, guys. I just thought I'd tell you all a cool story just so I wouldn't waste y'all's time coming here to watch me donate to charity. This comes from y'all. Like, I don't make this money. Yes, I post videos, but when y'all click on my channel, sometimes you have to watch a, a, an ad. When you watch that ad or skip it, I don't really care what you do with it. Uh, when you watch my video, if it has an ad on it, then some money gets sent to my YouTube account. Not much. I mean, most videos I'll make like, I don't know, 10 cents off of each video, you know, so it's not much, but... It got to where now it's at $210. So I always said I'm going to donate $100 to charity, and the charity I'm donating to is the Jimmy Hell Mission. Now, I'm going to make more uh, donations in the future and, uh, you know, with the money, but right now I'm just donating $100 to the Jimmy Hell Mission. It's telling me to verify that I'm not a robot. So, not a robot, verified. I hate these things. Storefront. Show everything of a storefront. Some of these aren't storefronts. They're businesses. That's a business. That's not a storefront. Some of those are houses. Okay. So, here you go. Let's see. Make sure it has no personal info on it. So, all right. Uh, One-time donation, $100. It's going to Jimmy Hell Mission. Hopefully, that didn't have all my credit card information on there and stuff because then that would mean that there's no money going to the Jimmy Hell Mission. It's all going to somewhere else. So I'm going to click send my donation now. And we're going to see what happens. <clears throat> it's submitting. Okay. It went through. I'm going to a different screen. Now what's happening? Okay. Thank you for your gift. Is that it? Thank you for your gift. Click here to pr print your receipt. See your, if your employer will match your donation. Doubt it. I work with a bunch of cheap people. I'm just kidding. Um, so that was it. I kind of want, like, if you donate money to charity on an app, I kind of want, like, once you press it, like, fireworks explode on the screen. Like, 
I think that'd be freaking cool. From our clients and staff, thank you. This video contains audio. Let's click the video then. Oh, there they go. You hear them? Let's do it again. There you go. Can y'all hear that? Thank you. That's seriously like, y'all made this money. All my viewers, all my subscribers, y'all made this money. Because I'm not, if I'm just sitting here recording videos, broadcasting to an empty room, nothing's going to happen. So y'all have to click on these things to make money to donate to these charities. I'm going to donate the next $100. I've, I've pretty much already made it, but it hasn't gone through to my Google AdSense account. It says that I have $210 total, which now I'm going to subtract $100 from that. So I have $110 total. So the next $100, I'm going to send to another charity. And I don't know what charity I'm going to send it to. So if you have an idea of what charity I should send it to, just comment down below and let me know what charity that you think I should send it to. Who's calling me right now? I will call you back later. It always happens. Anytime I go live, nobody calls me until I go live. And then, boom, phone call. But seriously, appreciate y'all, man. A little history about Jimmy Hell Mission. It's a local uh, charity downtown. And they help out homeless people. They help out homeless women who have children, stuff like that. And uh, the cool thing I thought about them is they're not a handout charity you actually have to be willing to change. So when a homeless person comes into that charity, they, they run a background check on them, make sure they're not like a wanted criminal or something like that. But they don't really care if they have a criminal past. They just want they, they want to make sure they don't have warrants and stuff like that because that, that would be like housing, um, a, I don't know, a felon or whatever, and that would not be cool for their business. But so they take in a homeless person and they tell him like, all right, you got to change your ways. We're going to give you food, three meals a day. We're going to give you a bed to sleep in, nice bed. I hear their facilities are extremely nice. And they say, we're going to hook you up with a job. We are going to get you job interviews with places that we know who will hire people. You know, like we're going to get you a job. So they get that person a job. They make sure they're clean first. They feed them, clothe them, all that stuff. And then they get them a job. And then like if that person falls, like gets fired from the job or something like that, they have like a, to my knowledge, I don't know if this is 100% true, but to my knowledge, they have a three-strike program. So you come in the first time, they get you a job, they get you back on your feet. You come in the second time, if you're like, man, I'm on drugs and all that stuff, and, you know, uh, my job fell out and all that, they're like, all right, we're going to hook you up again. And they will do it again. The third time, they'll do it again also. So if you come back and you're like, man, I'm on drugs, they, they do make sure you're off drugs while you're in the place. But you come back and you're like, man, I'm on drugs. I got fired from the second job. Y'all got me, you know. They're going to be like, all right, we're going to hook you up one more time. But that's it because they got all their information and stuff. One more time, man. That's it. You mess up this time, we're not helping you again. To my knowledge, that's what they do. That's what I've heard in the past. I don't know if they still do that. But that's kind of, it's like an honor system. It's like, hey, man, we gave you all these clothes. We fed you till you were able to afford a house or apartment. We even, like, they'll even do all the groundwork and be like, oh, we're going to set up this apartment for you, everything. We're going to set up all your bills and stuff. All you got to do is pay it. Uh, but to my knowledge, they have a three-strike program. Jimmy Hell Mission, if you're watching this and that's not right, let me know and I will correct it. But to my knowledge, that's what I've heard. They don't, I mean, they're not going to just send you money, you know, like give a, a homeless guy, here's $20, man, go have fun. You know, and he goes out and drugs, drugs, comes back. I don't have no money. I, I spend it on drugs. I'm like, oh, here's another 20. Go have fun, man. No legit home, like, no legit charity is going to do that. That would be insane. But no lie. Like, I appreciate y'all. Y'all made this money. I wanted to say I appreciate y'all sending this money. Y'all basically sent it by clicking my videos and stuff like that. 100% appreciate y'all. The next 100, I don't know where I want it to go yet the charity I want it to go to so you just comment down below let me know if there's a local charity it doesn't matter where in the world it is just let me know I'll look up the charity I'll do some research and all that stuff and then we'll get it done because I got another hundred coming and I want to send that as well appreciate y'all watching man subscribe if you like this video uh, you know the reaction thing I'm doing right now let me know if you want me to do a reaction video um, I'll put your name up there all that good stuff give you a shout out but no lie, I appreciate y'all. Check me out, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, and like always, check me out in the streets.